Hello, in this video I will tell you about multifunction grip tool of AutoCAD. So up to this point we have made many drawings and whenever we select any drawing or object in AutoCAD we are able to see these grips. So these are different points on the geometry which are represented by these blue dots and they are visible almost all the geometry. Here also when I select a circle we have these different grips and using these grips we can make multiple modifications in a geometry for example here we have this rectangle with, which is made with symbol polyline and I will select it so that grips are visible now go to any of these end grips when I have my cursor on the edge you will see these extra options which are available on the menu. Now you can use this stretch vertex. You can stretch just like this. Or you can even add a vertex. So select this, add a vertex and add a new one here just like this. Now let's say that we want to remove this so that this vertex and this vertex join with a single line. So again I will have my cursor on the edge and I choose remove vertex and here we have it. Now if I move my cursor to this grip I will have more options stretch and add vertex. These two options we have already seen. Let's choose this convert to arc option and I can stretch it to arc shape. Now you can still go back to normal line just select this grip and choose convert to line so that is not all multifaction grips you can select multiple grips in a drawing using the shift key so let's say that in this case we want two grips at the end of this rectangle for that i will select this rectangle and now we will select both these grips directly so for selecting them simply press and hold shift key now click on the grips you want to select in this case I will select this grip and it is color changes and I select the second grip so both these grips are selected now release the shift key so click any of these grips and now you can modify like this similarly you can also directly click on the grip and modify it according to your requirements I will press Ctrl Z to get back to original geometry. Now using grips you can also modify your geometry in many different ways. For example, on the modify panel we have multiple tools like scale, stretch, move, copy or rotate and we have used these tools from modifying panel but instead of selecting them from modifying panel and using them here you can directly use them now in this case we have this complete geometry let's say we want to modify it using grips for that i will select it now choose the grip which you want to make as a base point so i will select this grip as the base point and and click on it and as soon as you click on you will see on the command line here let's expand this to see more clearly now the current command which is active in this case is stretch you can obvious you can obviously see it you can stretch it so now press space bar or enter it will change to move as you can see here on the command line you will be able to move now i will once again press enter it changes to rotate and the grip which we have clicked on will be the base point and press enter again it changes to scale command you can enter scale factor of 0.5 if you want this object to be reduced to a half of its size or 2 if you want to double the size of this object and press enter again we have mirror tool we can mirror it along with this line and press enter again now we are back to stretch so in this case we are able to change this geometry only what if i want to change the circle along with this rectangle for that i need to select complete geometry and select the center grip for example 
so press enter key now move command is active you can move the whole geometry press again we have rotate press again we have a scale we have mirror tool and stretch back to fast condition so in this way you can use this modifying command directly using multi-function tool this is all about multi-function grip tool of AutoCAD.